Hi, I'm Adam Sharp, the Executive Vice President of the Ohio Farm Bureau. I also farm here in Fairfield County, and I'm a proud 4-H and FFA dad. We are very excited to be in person this year at the Farm Science Review. So please be sure to stop by our building at the corner of Beef Street and Friday Avenue. Anyone who renews or purchases a membership will receive a custom Farm Bureau hitch pin. I also want to say thanks to our co-sponsors today from Nationwide. That relationship has a long and mutual history, and our partnership is stronger than ever as we continue to work together to serve and improve the agricultural communities across Ohio and nationally. In that spirit, I'd like to introduce my friend and colleague, Devin Furman, Vice President of Sponsor Relations for Nationwide. On behalf of Nationwide, we are proud to co-sponsor the 59th Farm Science Review with Ohio Farm Bureau. It's a natural fit because Nationwide was founded on the innovative spirit of Ohio Farm Bureau leaders back in 1926. As you'll see during your time with the Farm Science Review, there's a lot of new equipment and technology. When that gets back to the farm, it needs protection. That's where Nationwide comes in. We remain committed to agriculture and rural communities by protecting people, businesses, and futures with extraordinary care. And we're proud to be the number one insurer of farmers and ranchers in the United States. Combine all this with the power of partnerships between The Ohio State University, Ohio Farm Bureau, and other friends in the ag community, and you'll see why we're a unique force for good in Ohio communities and beyond. Thank you for joining us today and enjoy the Farm Science Review. Hi, I'm John Folden with the Digital Ag Program here at Ohio State University, and it's exciting to, to kind of showcase some of the newer technology being used out in uh, agriculture, and that is drones. And uh, we are part of that, that part of uh, our efforts here at Ohio State around research is using drones. Um, it's exciting to also showcase some of the other capabilities here and as you watch the video. In the past few years, we've really seen an influx in a number of drones being adopted in agriculture. Originally, we thought drones were just kind of like toys and saw a lot of purchases and, and we used them to, to do some basic scouting, put them up in the air and, and look over fields and kind of capture, you know, stress and uh, maybe make some replant. But today, it's really becoming exciting that uh, drones uh, are being used for scouting uh, we got drone sprayers today, and we even are talking to here about how we deliver products with drones. And there's a lot of other uses that we're starting to see with drones, but in particular, we're seeing a real, uh, you know, slow progress here and using them for scouting and spraying. And what you're seeing here is we fly over these corn and soybean fields is actually a drone that's scouting the fields. Uh, it's using a camera. And as, that, as it fly across, that uh, GPS locates a picture and using our artificial intelligence, it identifies what's in that picture. And the exciting thing out of that is, is it's not only picturing up the pictures, but using artificial intelligence, it identifies things like it can count plants. So it can give us stand plants and corn and soybeans, identify weeds, can identify disease and crops and we can even begin to some of the the solutions can identify insects and a type of insect so it actually can actually be and what we're seeing now is identifying thresholds are we exceeding thresholds and need to go out and spray and lastly something that's really come on is is the ability of drones through this technology these cameras and artificial intelligence to detect nutrient efficiencies so it's really exciting um we're working with Integrated Ag and we really appreciate their partnership uh, during the Farm Science Review and even outside as they support some of the production at the Farm Science Review and gives us capacity to not only work with them and side by side and, and testing some of these technologies including drones like what you see here but collecting data that's being used by the farm manager Nate Doritas to help make decisions as it relates to spraying uh, timing of spring or maybe make a decision not to do something as you get this information back so really exciting times uh, can't wait to see what the next five years can bring but uh, drones especially for scouting and now for spraying seem to be um, trending upwards in terms of adoption and availability here even in the state of Ohio
Please scan the QR code to participate in a brief survey so we can learn how we can make the iFarm Immersive Theater a better experience for future programs.